Hey everyone, it's Katie, and today I am going to be repotting a DF in Bacchia. My friend gave me this plant because he is not doing very well, and she just wanted me to see what I can do for it. So, starting out, I can feel the soil super dry. There are some dead leaves around the bottom that we're going to be clipping off. I'm going to start by just trimming off all the dead leaves so that all the nutrients can just be pumped straight to the new ones, the healthy ones, and not trying to waste that energy on the dead ones. Keep in mind when you're dealing with this plant, it is poisonous, so you should be wearing gloves. If any of the sap gets on you, wash it off right away. If it gets on your skin, it can cause burning and itchiness. If it gets in your eyes or mouth, you can even go numb and mute temporarily. So be super careful when you're cutting this plant. Okay, so now that we have gotten rid of all the dead leaves, we're just left with happy, healthy ones that continue to thrive. And then we have some new little baby ones down here. I'm gonna get him out of this old soil and get him in a new pot. So I'm going to put it in the pot that she gave me, it came with. I have some rocks from outside I'm gonna put at the bottom. And then for the DF and Bacchia, I'm going to add Miracle Grows Potting Mix. Okay, so I filled up a little less than half because I'm not planning on using any of the soil that this one came with. So you can tell it's pretty getting pretty root bound. And this soil is extremely dry even though I watered really thoroughly last night. It just went right through to the bottom and you can see it instantly pouring out which just shows it needs better soil. So I'm going to carefully roll it a little bit just to break up the roots. Get some more of that soil out. When you are storing your DFM Bacchia, keep it in a place where it's going to get a little bit of light, not too much. So indirect sunlight is best and a spot where it's going to be 50 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Okay, so here's pretty much all the dirt off and just the root system. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right down. And Add some more soil. When you're watering the DFM Bacchia, you only need to water it once every two weeks or when the first couple of inches of the soil feels dry. You don't want to overwater it. And you can also fertilize it once every month or two weeks during the warmer months. In the winter, you can cut fertilizing down to about once a month. So for the first watering, I'm going to go ahead and water from the top down just so all the soil can get moist. And from then on, I'm going to recommend watering from the bottom. So just put a tray, you can use anything, a little container, a bowl, anything you have with water and stick it in, leave it for about 20 or 30 minutes. It'll soak in everything it needs. And then you can just take it off and let it go. And that really helps with the top not to let this get all rotted with extra moisture that you don't need trapped in the soil and just keeps it nice and pretty on top. So that is our DF and Bacchia all repotted, looking a little bit better. And I'm going to water it thoroughly and leave it overnight. And then I'll give it to my friend and hopefully get another one soon. If you guys have tips, questions, like always, let me know. Super fun to hear from you. And I'll see you guys soon.